Hey guys, welcome back to Try This DIY. In today's video, I want to show you how to set up and I'm going to review the Sport Barella. So let's go ahead and dive in. This is one of the easiest setups I've ever done. You just slide the tent out of the bag, then push the red button on the center pole, and then you pull out the middle stake and stake it into the ground like this. The umbrella spokes are pretty durable, which helps out a lot in the wind. You can adjust the height by pulling the telescopic pole higher or lower. Then you can use the stakes they give you and stake down each of the loops. These stakes make the Sport Barella useful on the beach as well at the ball field. The Sport Barella is 8 foot wide so there's plenty of room for two adults. There are also many other size options, so I'll leave links for those in the description. After that, there are little bags on the side of the tent where I think you can store items, but I usually fill those with sand to help weigh it down. If this video has been helpful so far, please feel free to like and subscribe for more helpful videos. Then you can use extra precaution and use the stake down lines to help hold the tent in place. Be careful, these are very easy to trip on and has easily clotheslined my kids more than any professional wrestler. The tent has these little windows that will allow wind to pass through and also help keep the tent cool. Because of the tie down stakes and these windows, the Sport Perella can do pretty well in the wind. The Sport Barella has 50 UPF and it also has soft tips on the end of the tent so you or your kids won't poke yourself when you're trying to get in. Takedown is very easy as well. All you have to do is pull the stakes up and take the sand out of the bags and then release the bottom of the tent. Then you can press the red button on the tent pole and bring the tent down and it fits neatly back into its bag. The Sport Barella itself is pretty tall in its carry bag, so it will be tough to pack in smaller vehicles, but it is pretty light, under 9 pounds, and it's able to be carried pretty easily. One drawback is, in order to get shade, you will have to face different directions depending on where the sun is located. So for part of the day, it will be facing away from the water because the shade will be in the other direction. I do think it works well for kids to play in and have some shade and even have a little breeze. It also gives you a little privacy on the beach. We've had ours for years and our kids love playing in it. We've even had to get under it during a rainstorm. Overall, it works pretty well and has a lower price point than most beach shades. It works well in the wind and is one of the easiest setups and is a popular shade at the beach and the ballpark. You can check out one of my other beach tent reviews here. If you've used one of these tents, let me know your experience in the description. And if this video was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos, and I'll see you in the next video.